Hey everybody, Doug and I are so excited today. We have help coming to help us in our yard. We can't wait. It's going to be a lot of hard work and we probably won't be this chippery and excited at the end of the day. But we are going to uh, tidy up and winterize our yard. We like to trim, put out new straw, uh, put out bone meal around my plants and I'll be talking more about that in a few minutes and just get it ready for the holidays. Thanksgiving is almost here and Christmas will be here and we'll want to put out our decorations and we'd like to get our work done, our house clean um, and our yard tidied up and uh, ready before we start putting out our decorations. So we're going to get started. Our help will be here in a few minutes and I am so grateful that someone's coming to help do the trimming because Doug and I are just past being able to do that ourselves. So we're going to get started and I'll be back. One of the most important things that I do in prepping my yard for the winter is to put out bone meal. Uh, I've told you this before, but I wanted to share it again with you this year. I couldn't find the brand that I normally use, but this seems to be a very good bone meal. It's called High Yield Boned Meal. It's 0 and I like to put mine out in the fall. Now, a lot of people put theirs out in the spring after the last frost, then they'll put it out. But I like to put mine in my beds, uh, especially around my daylilies, around my amaryllis, around my agapanthus, my roses, anything that blooms. I like to put it out and I like to put it out in the fall and especially before we put down our straw, which serves as our mulch. So we'll just put this around the flowers today. Then uh, we'll put our new straw, we'll water it in, and my plants will be all set for the winter. So Doug and I are super excited that we have completed our project in our yard. And out by our mailbox, I have put some pumpkins and uh, a little flower to go with it just to have for Thanksgiving um, and we will take this up when we take, put out our Christmas decorations but you can see our pretty straw that we've put out here uh, and now we'll just swing around to the front yard so now I want to show you we've trimmed everything uh, and we've put out new straw. We did have help to do this, uh, but here's our straw. And our she-she's, you can see the buds here. They are just fixing to pop open and be ever so beautiful. I have three mums here, and I left these in the pots, and I just keep them watered. Uh, they'll carry us through Thanksgiving. And then we'll take those up. You see my pretty ferns. I have a pumpkin on the front. I have a couple of cushions in my rockers. Coming on around, I just have a little plant here that I've kept on the front porch all summer. A couple of ferns and a couple of fall decorative wreaths. On this side, we have shishis again. You can see they are just full of buds. And look, there's a little bud that's fixing to open. Oh my goodness, this is going to be beautiful. There again, we have our straw. This is our berm that we're so proud of. I'm getting a glare on my camera, and I apologize for that. Um, but we have um, our holly trees. We're going to put some lights on those this year for Christmas. We have our straw we've trimmed. We've trimmed this beautiful holly that we have here. And then our um, agapanthus. Um, they're just so pretty. In the fall, we put out our bone meal coming on around. We've trimmed. I even trimmed my little drift roses. They will bloom again before Christmas. So you can see in our front yard that we are ready for the fall to enjoy. And again, I just like to winterize everything and get it all trimmed up, get it um, neat and pretty and clean for the holidays and for the winter. 
So that's kind of how our front yard looks. Now we'll take a look at our backyard. Okay, we're coming into our backyard and again, we have trimmed everything. We've put out straw. Our beautiful hibiscus tree or bush is still growing and blooming. Everything looks so pretty and green. It's just stayed pretty during the um, fall. And this is one of my favorite times of the year. Everything just gets green again. It's almost like spring. And yet there's a fall air in the, um, in the air. And so I have my lilies here. I put out a couple of plants. Uh, this is just a fall plant. And y'all, I left this in the pot. I just stuck it down in there and covered it with water. So when I get ready to replace it, I'll just pull that pot out and replace it. This is a mum that I have here on the fireplace. Coming on around, I have another mum here on the fireplace. And on this side of the fireplace, I have a matching uh, fall plant. So I, have, I put one in the center here. And y'all, this is a great, great setting to come out and just have a cup of coffee, to meditate. And um, hopefully in the spring, we're gonna have some bluebirds in our little bluebird house. And then we have this bed out here that's one of my favorites. This uh, was one of the shots, uh, photos that I used in my cookbook. This is one of my favorite places right here. Our uh, grapevine uh, is going back for the winter. The leaves are falling. They're beautiful. They're uh, turning colors, different colors, fall colors. The leaves are pretty. And then we planted a little fig tree. Y'all, I hope it lives. We have tried and tried and tried but we planted us another little fig tree. Have a couple of ferns here. These are our pine cone lilies that are still producing. Here's one right down here on the, on the ground. Look at that, so pretty. So that's kind of how we're looking for fall. And we are just thrilled beyond words to have our yard tidied up and all cleaned up. And now we're ready to start decorating and enjoying family and friends. And I hope that you'll get yours all cleaned up and uh, you can get some help to help you do it too. And I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm sitting here rocking. I started out this morning standing at the front door. <laughs> I'm ending the day and this video by sitting in this rocking chair and resting a while. We have worked so, so hard and I am so proud of our work. It's a feel good tire. Do you know what that feels like? You're just so tired you can hardly, hardly move, but it feels so good to have all of this done. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope that you're able to get out and enjoy the beauty and enjoy some of this cool weather and the blessings that God has blessed us with and just the beauty around. And if you're not able to um, get out and do yours, then I hope and pray that someone will come along and help you uh, offer a hand or that you can find someone that you can hire that'll help you just kind of tidy up things and get ready for the holidays. I love you all and I will see you again really, really soon.